Uh, hey guys, welcome back. I'm just in downtown Annapolis hanging out for the day. You know, Annapolis is a beautiful city. It's got tons of great features, which I love. But the truth is, it's not for everyone. And there are a few things that you probably want to know before moving here. That's why today I'm going to cover the top 10 things to know before moving to Annapolis, Maryland. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back. My name is Malcolm Lawson. I'm the team leader of the Lawson Group of Keller Williams Realty located here in Annapolis, Maryland. So number one on my list is that you better study up on your driving etiquette because Annapolis has a lot of roundabouts in the city and they can get a little confusing for a lot of tourists and people are not as familiar with them. Now I'm personally a fan of roundabouts compared to having a traffic light there instead. However, I will admit I even get a little confused when you have more than one lane in a roundabout. Number two is Annapolis is of course the home of the United States Naval Academy. Founded in 1845, the Naval Academy plays a big role in shaping the culture of downtown Annapolis. On the weekends, it's not uncommon to see the iconic white uniform of the midshipmen throughout Annapolis. The Naval Academy does offer public tours as well if you're interested in exploring that, and it is a pretty cool tour, and I definitely recommend it if you're new to Annapolis. Number three, about once a year, you may feel your house start rumbling and rattling, but don't worry, that is just the Blue Angels flying over celebrating Commission Week here in Annapolis when the midshipmen graduate the academy. The Blue Angels show is definitely something that you wanna catch. And personally, I think the best location to watch the Blue Angels is actually out on a boat. Now you can also expect to see a good bit of traffic in the area around this time as well, as all the midshipmen's family members come to visit for graduation. Number four, Annapolis is the unofficial sailing capital of the world, and it really does have an influence in the culture of Annapolis. You'll see sailing themes throughout Annapolis, from the clothes that people wear, to the stores, to the themes of restaurants, to our art, and even several events throughout the year. For example, every year Annapolis is the home of the United States Power Boat Show and the United States Sailboat Show. Number five, Annapolis is a tourist destination for many people visiting Annapolis. And the tourists come here for the art, for the food, for the history, and for the many events that are held here in Annapolis every year. But because of this, downtown Annapolis can get pretty crowded on the weekends. Now there's two main areas that I like to park when I go to downtown Annapolis. One is right next to the city docks. They have metered parking there. And the other one, if that's full, I usually go to the parking garage right off of Main Street as well. Number six, Annapolis has a rich history and has actually helped shape the fabric of our country. Annapolis was even the capital of the United States for a short period. It's not all a pleasant history though. In downtown Annapolis near the city docks, you'll see a statue of Alexander Haley reading his book Roots to a group of children. Alexander, his ancestor Kunta Kente, came to America as a slave and arrived here in Annapolis in 1767 and was Alexander's inspiration for his book, Roots. Number seven, with Annapolis's proximity to the Bay Bridge, it unfortunately does get bogged down sometimes with Route 50 traffic. This is especially true during the summer months as tourists are heading to the Ocean City and they kind of reach a bottleneck there at the Bay Bridge. This is especially true on Friday nights where Route 50 traffic can back up for miles and unfortunately it does impact the Annapolis traffic as well. Number eight, Annapolis is a foodie's paradise. From five-star waterfront seafood restaurants to hole-in-the-wall delis, Annapolis is known for its cuisine. If you're looking for something fun and tasty, I recommend the chicken and waffles at the Iron Rooster, and then follow it up with one of their homemade Pop-Tarts. If you're looking for something a little more high class and fancy, check out the Chart House located in Eastport. Number nine, Annapolis is home to one of the coolest parks in the area, and that is Quiet Waters Park. Located right off the South River is a great location to rent a kayak or go fishing. Probably the coolest feature of this park is the outdoor ice skating rink, which is opened up in the wintertime. This park also features a large playground, rentable gazebos, and an outdoor art garden. Quiet Waters Park is definitely one of the highlights of living in Annapolis. And finally, number 10, Annapolis has tons of shopping available to you. From the large updated Annapolis Mall, to the Annapolis Harbor Center, to the Annapolis Town Center, to the all small boutique stores in downtown Annapolis on Main Street. There are plenty of local stores and businesses for you to shop at here in Annapolis. And finally, if you wanna learn more about Annapolis, go to Facebook and check out the Annapolis Connect Facebook group. It's a group that my wife and I started and we often post events and activities and just fun things to do here in Annapolis. 
feel free to go on the group and ask any question that you like to get some feedback about this area from people who actually live in Annapolis. So now that you guys know a little bit more about Annapolis, the next step is to figure out what area in Annapolis you want to move to. Luckily for you, I've got an entire video I did all about the best places in Annapolis to live. Click right over here to check out that video. If you guys are thinking about buying a home here, I'd love to have a conversation with you. Call, email, text me, whatever you gotta do, but let's talk. I'll have all my contact information down in the description below. Thanks so much for watching the entire video, and I'll see you guys over in this video here. So long.